Welcome to Electro Online. So in the previous video we saw there were eight different methods. Well here's the first of the eight, the graphical method. The two equations are y equals x plus 2 and y equals minus 2x plus 8. And we're going to use the same two equations for all eight methods so we can see how they compare to one another. So we already prepared ourselves with an x-y axis and we're going to use the equation, the general form of y equals mx plus b where the coefficient in front of the x is the slope and the number by itself is the y-intercept. So let's graph the two equations and see what happens. First, we have y equals x plus 2. That means the y-intercept is a 2 and the slope is equal to 1. That means the rise is 1 and the run is 1. So we go up 1, over 1, up 1, over 1, up 1, over 1. And if we connect those dots, we have the equation y equals x plus 2. So now we need a second line representing the second equation. The y-intercept is 8, and the slope is a negative 2. That means a drop of 2 and a run of 1. So drop 2, run 1, drop 2, run 1, drop 2, run 1. If we connect all those dots, like this, notice the two lines cross at one particular point. Well, that is the point of intersection, and let's see what value for x we get. We get x equals 2, and the value for y, we get y equals 4. So the solution is that the x and y coordinates of the point where they intersect is 2 for x and 4 for y. You can see that this method is a quick method if the points have whole numbers. 2 and 4 are easy to find, but of course, if the point of intersection is 2.2, and 4.5, you may have a hard time figuring out exactly what the x and y intercept is. And so, the, or may not the y, x and y intercept, but the, what the x and y coordinates are of the point of intersection. So, this works well when you have a clearly defined point of intersection where the x and y coordinates are defined by whole numbers. Otherwise, you probably don't want to use this technique unless you want to give an approximate value, and that's good enough as well. But that is how it's done. You like this method? The least. Not the least, but some of the, <laughs> some of the other ones. What are, what are those called? Towards the end, uh, the echelon, yeah. uh, the matrix method. Yeah, you never liked those? Never. I like those. They're neat. Of course, you have to remember how to do it. 